Like all Royal Caribbean ships, Harmony of the Seas has these rooms right at the front of the ship. I stayed in this one. Let me show you what it's like. To get there, you might expect you have to walk all the way to the front of the ship. It was the second one over, room 11504. That's room 504 on deck 11 at the very front of the ship. It seems like a pretty standard ocean view room, but it ends up being a little different. Let me show you how. First, you have the bathroom, which is pretty standard for Harmony of the Seas. It has the nice tube type shower, but the door that opens into the room. There's a little place to prop your foot up. There's a nice adjustable shower head. And of course, these little shelves, which can hold a little bit of stuff, but don't have real high lips on them. You got to be a little careful not to put anything too top heavy right against that, or it may fall off. It's a pretty standard size cruise ship bathroom, but it's usually functional for the time that you're on board. The room has a decent amount of storage space, starting off with this full length closet right next to the bathroom. It's got a little arm that folds down if you wanted another horizontal rack. To the left when you come in is this mirror. Mine had an ugly guy in it, but you know, yours will probably be a little better looking than that. And then you've got the desk area. Everyone's always interested in the plugs, so here's a special little section showing you what all the plugs look like on Harmony of the Seas. And that switch on the right controls the mirror. Moving over to the main bureau, you've got a full-size drawer here, makes it easy to, for storage, and four more drawers on the right side. Then there's your chiller, cooler. Don't call it a fridge because it doesn't get that cold but it's still nice for keeping drinks cool. Next to the couch on the other side is another closet. You can see this one has a couple of drawers at the bottom and then opens up for a three quarter length hanging area and more shelves, including a safe. To the right of the bed is another plug and a light switch. Of course, your flat screen TV and another moving in table, but no plugs on this side of the room. The main feature that you're probably booking this room for is this forward facing window. It's large, it's angled, and it gives you great views out of the front of the ship. The only restriction is at night, they ask that you close these blinds so that it doesn't reflect up into the bridge while they're steering the ship. There's a common misconception that being at the front of the ship means that you're going to have a lot more motion in your room. This was absolutely not the case for us. It seemed no worse in our room than anywhere else on the ship. Now we didn't have any horrible storms, so this wasn't an extreme test, but on a normal week, I would say that this is no worse than any other room. We saw dolphins as we were pulling away from Galveston. You might have some luck too, so keep an eye out. It's really interesting to be able to see out the front of the ship from your room. Very few rooms have this ability. Harmony of the Seas doesn't allow you to access the helipad normally. This is one of the few ways to see out the front of the ship without having to go to the solarium. Even though it's not very tall, this area underneath the window and wall on that end of the room was really useful for storing extra shoes and clothes and hanging things on the wall. It definitely made the room feel a lot more spacious. Would you like to stay in a room like this? Leave a comment below, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps share the secrets.